FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. Mm. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes yeah, to I'll do anything Gotham, for Gotham. A place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. Oh. This will help you too, Bruce. Okay. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Put a dent in crime. I have not been since <laughs> I'll do a new face for Gotham. All right, all right, all right. How about uh, a new face for Gotham? Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey. But and you not have to worry about is. getting shot and drive by. Have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mm, who's that? Oz? Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zeller. Who the fuck's Oz? I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is Hello, the chairwoman Madam. of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. Oh, you I'll fucked admit up. it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city well, to Well, we can greatness. all make a difference. Come on. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me. Not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right. Right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. <laughs> You're going no, senile, darling. Wings and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. He's like, Look at don't Gotham mind her. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's <laughs> always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. Ooh. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Like well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Oh, excuse Even me, Even a sorry. spark of hope can be the Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. Would he? I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility nah. to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. There's nothing wrong with that. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery whoa, in some whoa. alleyway. You don't just it talk about terrible. that. Truly terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age. I'm right Must here, motherfuckers. Crazy. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Yay. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Yeah, if only politics nowadays go that way as well. <laughs> oh, well, hello. Listen in Maracas. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. And reporters. Why are Vicky's a This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Yeah, you can stay. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. 
Thanks. Gross. This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Oh, shit. Well, <laughs> Bruce. Bruce is already heading one way with this. Everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Mm, yeah, I'm not going to hit on it. Politics bore the hell out of me. Too many words. Not enough action. Didn't think you were the type to get his hands dirty. Oh, you'd be surprised. Mr. Wayne, you've you've got something on your collar. Oh. Um is that blood? No. That's yeah. um it's lipstick. It looks like Oh no, the most I cut myself oh, shaving. This? No, it's yeah. nothing, it's just uh cut myself shaving. What? Your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has the arrived. Fuck is I'm here. Sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Oh, fuck. Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything. Oh, shut the except fuck being up, a businessman you who loves this city. Defendant Excuse us, Miss Falcone, Val. you. You smug asshole, Dent. I was just starting to like you. And what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham. For all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Mm. Hawkoni requested to speak with you directly. Yeah, I'm trusting you. I don't like this, Harv. But I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Yeah, well, just make sure this one doesn't hang you. Mm -hmm. Word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. You play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor um. offends my eyes. Oh, really? Man, all well, flash, you, no class. My family built this house. Mm -hmm. It's not for sale. Everything's for sale, Mr. Wayne. And everyone. Just need to find the right currency. Like, why are you in my Falcone. fucking house right Thank now? Thank you for welcoming me into your home. No, I didn't welcome you. Oh, everybody's looking. Everybody's looking now to see if we're gonna shake hands, huh? You're a respectable man, I hear. Nah, I don't touch shit. Sorry. I'm kind of a German folk. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. No. Fal you should know, Mr. Falcone. My analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there. Harvey comes with me. Harvey stays with us. Exactly. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Yeah, now get the fuck out. Not heard. Whatever ah, you. Ah, what did I say? Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law. And there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually I want you has out of my fucking house. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. <laughs> I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Oh, you can yeah, go pal. shove that. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can yeah, no. pull it out you throw this back at him. 
Go chuck your own fucking stick. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. No, I understand, like, these are all getting you a drink, but chuck in your pool cue? Businesses, no. Restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, no. politicians. And even getting a drink is pushing it. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home. Hoping to make a new friend. Oh, what the fuck? One here? who can help Mr. Dent see the light. If need be. Um, Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Yep. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. That's right. So that's how it's gonna be. You don't talk about my fucking father. People don't say no to me. No. Not for long. <laughs> Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Yes, Alfred. I'll do that. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. <laughs> and he's gonna get what's coming to him. Yeah, you can go fuck yourself. Oh, that's the intro. <laughs> oh, fuck. I was like, it can't be over already. Shit. <laughs>